Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root any Galaxy S4 um, using the uh, custom recovery method, clockwork mod recovery method. Uh, basically we're going to install a custom recovery on our Galaxy S4 and uh, basically install um, roots by using a super su zip file and uh, you will need to use Windows for this version. I'll have another guide um, using Mac and Linux later uh, but this is for Windows only and also um, this will work on any Galaxy S4s. Now as of this video there's only recovery available, stable recovery that I've tested uh, for the GTI 9500 uh, but I'll show you, I'll update the page and by the time you see this video there may be a uh, clock with my recovery for your model of your phone uh, but the the method is pretty much exactly the same uh, so let me show it to you next we're gonna go ahead and turn off our phone all right and we're gonna put it into um, this mode called download mode uh, Odin download mode and uh, basically after it turns off go ahead and hit the uh, volume down here and also the center home and the power button uh, up here so go ahead and hold three of those down uh, volume down, center home, and the power, and hold it down until you see uh, this warning screen. Go ahead and hit volume up, all right, and go ahead and plug it to your computer via micro USB cable, all right, and let's go to our computer. All right, now next you'll need a couple files. Um, go ahead and go to galaxyS4root.com. That's my site. If you go here uh, at the top, you'll see a uh, Clockwork Mod Twerp Recoveries. That's where I'll be updating uh, all the list of uh, recoveries. Now with the Galaxy uh, S4 GTI 9505 and all the other ones, um, there's beta ones right now, but I don't recommend it. That's why I didn't put it there. But there is a stable recovery for the GTI 9500. So go ahead and download that. And uh, if you're using other phones, um, download the appropriate one. And for AT&T Galaxy S4, um, because it has a boot locked uh, boot, a uh, locked bootloader, you'll have to unlock the bootloader, which that method is now, so um, do not use for AT&T for now until I have an update, and also don't use for Verizon, it's most likely to be locked. Um, I'll have all of these updates on my page, so go ahead and check out my webpage before you do anything, and make sure you download the correct one. I've got the GTI 9500 here, so I'm going to go ahead and hit download here, and I'm going to go ahead and download. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit download that and uh, just download that, wait five seconds. And then also, um, if you don't have Odin, you'll need to download Odin uh, Samsung USB drivers if you don't have drivers. And also you'll need to download the uh, Super SU. So go ahead and download all of these and uh, we'll, go, we'll go from there. Next, you should have downloaded the four files. Um, the only thing that's going to be different depending on your device is the the actual the tar file uh, make sure you download the correct one otherwise you know you can cause problems and also Odin v185 go ahead and unzip the files I'm gonna go ahead and extract it and that'll give me Odin program uh, and then also everything else you can leave alone and uh, let's go to the next step um, if you don't have Samsung dri uh, drivers installed, you have to install it. Let me show you how to check it. Go ahead and run Odin here and say yes. And uh, if you see this yellow highlighted uh, box, you're all ready to go. But if you don't see it, uh, go ahead and run this, double click on this and run this uh, Samsung USB drivers. This will install the drivers and then go ahead and unplug and plug your phone back in and you should be able to see the yellow com sign. Um, next, what we're going to do is don't touch anything else. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to touch the PDA button here and we're going to point it to uh, the recovery you've used. Now, you have to, again, you have to find the right one for your, your, uh, your phone. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to point to it, uh, which I have here, which is the Kofis i9500. Since I have an i9500, if you have like a, a Sprint, or if you have a, a Verizon one, make sure you find the right version. So I'm going to choose this recovery since I have a GTI 9500. And then that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit start. And this will flash the recovery. Your phone will reboot. And let it reboot. All right, once that's done and your phone has rebooted, leave it connected, all right? And we're going to go ahead and uh, copy the Super SU file, the zip file here. We're going to do right click copy and we're gonna put it into our Galaxy S4 all right 
uh, anywhere here. I'm just going to put it in the main directory here. And uh, you should see it right there. All right. And then let's go to the next step. All right. Next, you'll have to turn your phone off. And what we're going to do is boot into the Clockwork Mod Recovery we just flashed. And we're going to simply um, we're going to install the SuperSU zip file, which will give you full root. So to do this, it's going to be volume up, center home, and the power button. Hit it all at the same time. All right. Volume up in this order, center home and the power, all right? And as you see, as soon as you see the logo, let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up and the center home button, all right? And give it a second here, and you should boot into the new Clockwork Mod recovery uh, you just flashed, all right? There we go. So I am in Clockwork Mod recovery, and uh, once you're here, you're gonna go to uh, install Zifram SD card, hit the power button, uh, choose zip from SD card, hit the power button, and choose zero, all right? And it's most likely in your uh, folder here, the file you just copied over. Go ahead and hit that and hit the power button. And say yes. And that will install uh, super SU and root. And go ahead and hit go back and reboot system now. And once your Galaxy S4 has rebooted, um, it should be fully rooted. And uh, I've got the GTI 9500. Again, at the time of this video, uh, there's only recovery for GTI 9500. But if you have the Qualcomm version, um, if you have the dual core models, you can actually follow uh, my other root instructions on my site, uh, which you can use a script to actually root it. Uh, but that won't give you a custom recovery, but it'll still give you roots. So I've rebooted here. And you should find uh, Super SU. Go ahead and click on it, and you can hit continue to update the binaries. And if it says installation success, um, you should be all good to go. Now, if you want to check that uh, you have full root, go ahead and download an app like Titanium Backup. All right, go ahead and install and hit OK. And uh, you should get a nice super user uh, window pop up. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And asking for root site and boom shakalaka. And go ahead and hit grant. So you have a fully rooted uh, phone here. Now, if you want to uh, get rid of roots, uh, since we've installed custom recovery, all you have to do is the unit use the universal unroot method. I'll have links and also reinstall um, stock recovery for your GTI 9500, which I'll also have uh, links to eventually. Um, and that's about it. That's how you root your Galaxy S4 using the Clockwork Mod Recovery method. And also, I'll have another method using Twerp when Twerp is available for all the devices. Um, but that's how you root it. Anyway, uh, if you have a Galaxy S4 and uh, you want to be stay updated on custom ROMs and stuff like this, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxys4root.com. Uh, There's a sign up link at the end of every article. And if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. Yeah.